Disconnect this and let it go limp and see where it where it goes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're all kind of they're kind of like cockeyed in here. This one's different than this one. It's different. Yes. Like if I could get a title at like 1700, I'd be fine. guys, Cameron, Tech Support Supervisor at Fuel Tech USA here today with Terry Taylor's, what year Nova is this? 1972. 72 Nova with a big old nitrous motor in it. A little over 2,000 horsepower today, ended up running into a little bit of a transmission problem, but uh, when you run a car on the dyno like this, at least we get to figure out all the problems That's and right. that way you're not chasing stuff at the racetrack and you have something that you can at least, the next time you take it out, just go have fun. Um, why don't you tell us how your day went today on the dyno? I know that we went over a bunch of different stuff and uh, learned a lot of different things, showed you, you know, how to do all the fueling and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just kind of walk us through your your whole adventure here and, and all, all the parts of you it. I had to remember some of this. <laughs> okay. You now we started the day with the motor passes, trying to get a general feel for the engine and the, the tune-up that was... Uh, there and then uh, progressed into doing the nitrous oxide uh, 
runs. The and, good uh, stuff. Yeah, uh, finally to four kits, and that's where it happened. But, <laughs> so uh, when the lockup came on, I think we broke something in the transmission. But uh, once again, I would rather have that happen here than while somebody was driving it down the track. You know what I mean? So now you can go get that fixed and go take it to the track, have fun with your family. Uh, it looks like this, this is a whole family kind of deal, right? You guys go and probably barbecue grill and hang out and do all the whole racing we, thing with your family. We, we do a cookout to go uh, race a little bit, cook a lot. Uh, these, these are my sons, Maxwell and uh, Matthew. But uh, this is a family car. This car I've owned for over 25 years. Okay. Uh, it was on the street. It's uh, been in jail a few times, and uh, <laughs> uh, and here it is. Yep. Well, and I, you told me it's something really unique. This is a Mazda Miata color or it's something a like that. Mazda Miata Strato Blue. Uh, I chased the lady down to her, her house to get the the paint coat off of this car. Well, it turned out really, really nice. Um, I had fun on the dyno. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, keep your eyes open for me at the racetrack. I'd love to come, you know, visit you guys in the pits and make sure everything's going all right. And uh, hopefully, maybe if you bring it back, we can really make 2,500 horsepower with it. I think that was the goal, right? It, that's absolutely. One, one more thing I'd like to say is these guys here at Fuel Tech, uh, they're second to none. We've uh, been working with these guys for about a year now and finally getting the car uh, ready to race. And uh, I've never been disappointed here. Just wanted to add that for my pay payday. Uh, but <laughs> no, uh, I would recommend them to anyone. Well, I really appreciate that. It was fun working on the dyno with you. We'll see you around, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.